Hello friends, good morning, welcome to our channel ALP Talks General and Electrical Aspects. I hope you are all doing good and great. Yeah, today's topic is uh, the role of electrical design engineer in transformer industry. So in electrical industry, mainly electrical engineers are the key people. What they will do in that way, in the direction, entire industry will move. So, is uh, existing electrical engineers are ready to uh, to tackle all these challenges? Uh, if you are viewing the my videos, you can think about it. You observe about it whether you are able to do all these things or not. For example, here I kept uh, two images. How you can properly fit it? For example, say here you have one small hole small cutout you have one more piece say this piece how we can properly fit it we can fit it in this direction otherwise uh, you can see it here you can you can fit in vertical direction huh? otherwise uh, you can fit in bottom direction otherwise you can fit in this direction otherwise you can fit in this direction yes any way you can fit it finally what happens uh, electrical product means we have to manufacture it, right? Finally, the product should, the product should, uh, should take some shape, uh, perfect shape it should take, so that the, with the optimum cost we are going to manufacture the products. There are some space limitations also uh, for some some of the products. For example, say for example motor, motor is going to operate in some severe conditions where uh, uh, you say this is the motor. Uh, there may be space length limitation may be there. So in that case, what you have to do, you should keep one by one. For example, like this. In this uh, example, uh, if height limitation is there, then you have to keep side by side. If uh, uh, while doing this, you have to check cost also. How much cost uh, each thing is uh, influencing. Uh, for example, everything is material, right? Everything matters a lot. Say if you are making uh, two things horizontally, then some material will be there, more length will be there. Yeah, same thing happens in transformer design also. Uh, it is revolved how you, you choose the transformer parameters. Based on your, uh, your direction, your decision, everything changes. You are the designer, right? So you should be perfect while deciding every parameter in the design. You should be strong enough to judge whether it is okay or not. You should strong enough whether I am utilizing this material to full up my knowledge, to full up the material capacity or not. Yeah, whatever the material you are using, it is a uh, thermal, it is a uh, chemical, it is a uh, electrical, it is a uh, mechanical. So all these parameters you should satisfy for a part every material you are using in the transformer. Whatever the material you are using for uh, craft insulating, insulation purpose, craft paper and all, mainly electrical parameters are most important. Simultaneously, their mechanical strength should be same throughout their life. It should not deteriorate. Simultaneously, their thermal life should be same. Uh, I mean, you, whatever, whatever the temperature you are allowing in the conductor, same temperature is touching the thermal material, the insulation material. So if it is more than cap capacity of material, what happens? The insulation get burns, it will burn out. So this life, it will, it life will reduce. So instead of 25 years transformer, the life may be 10 years like that. So be careful while uh, choosing the parameters, everything. Um, whatever choice you will make, whatever material you will choose, it should be perfect. It should meet all the cases, all the choices. Yeah, it is not like only electrical. It's about uh, multiple aspects. You, you should check like uh, mechanical aspects, whether the forces are okay or not, whether clamps are okay or not, whether dimensions are okay or not, whether it is any problem in shaft load. You should check like that. Mechanical aspects also you should take into consideration. Thermal thing. What about thermal? Everything. Whether if transformer is running inside. Uh, that they are there obviously heat will be generated uh, due to that heat is there any problem whether paint will peel off 
uh, whether the insulating material or any st stick, uh, sticker marks on the uh, leads or on transformer it will get uh, damaged yeah you should take care of it yeah whatever oil you use it in the transformer is it okay is it okay for particular temperature whatever material lugs and all you are using inside the transformer is it okay if it if it won't properly fit with each other then what happens there is chances for spark generation and all so oil will get uh, deteriorated so chemical properties of oil will change electrical yes transformer is mostly the electrical related thing so you should be very much careful about electrical thing dielectric stresses current density plus density losses stray losses everything you should take into account everything so it's up to you how we will choose all the parameters for example say this is rv winding say this is the hv winding this is the high low gap for example how you are filling this space this is most important how you are filling this space this is most important what a what the empty space how we are filling between a high low lv and hv gap say this is the say for example whatever it is there say this is the core uh, say i'm just i'm just drawing like this indicating this is the core i'm just drawing like this indicate to indicate this is the core yeah above above value is core so this is a lv to air this is a high low gap this is a face to face space so you should be very much clear how much you should keep for everything how much conductor you should use how many turns you should use what size of conductors you should use what spacing you should keep between all the conductors uh, 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 what how uh, axial separation should be there how radial separation should be there how we can provide cooling whether it is uh, less than the temperature limit of the conductor for example 250 degree centigrade is it okay for example uh, customer may be asking for 60 65 rises are you meeting 65 rise by properly designing uh, cooling equipment for 60 degree is anything for example here you have one thing it may be blocking the oil flow from bottom to top is is any glitches in the winding design like that so please check all the aspects uh, arrange it uh, properly uh, whatever it is required took proper margins for every parameter so that it won't fail in the shaft floor yeah just by observing into this uh, slide itself you can guess what is the role what we have to do for the transformer for example here you can see this is the transformer we have circuit breaker ct pt we have la and we have some insulator supporting yeah circuit breakers will be a little bit far away from it whatever surges are transferring from those circuit breaker operation through the transformer we should take care of it all other surges are lightning falling directly or indirectly on the substation or transformer or surroundings or lines we should take care of it this aspect we should keep in mind while doing designs yeah this is about guys i just want i just want to give some basic view about uh, designs transformer design here uh, so uh, this is what uh, about this presentation if you have any questions or if you need more clarity or any aspects you please uh, comment in the youtube section i am ready to help you uh, I, i will i will post uh, my many more videos in my near future so please subscribe to my channel hope you you will enjoy all the videos if you are the first time subscriber first time if you are coming for the channel first time so please go watch my all previous videos also i hope you will enjoy this please like comment and subscribe to my channel thank you bye